Hey, campers, Don here. On this adventure, we'll explore and tell you about Lake Cumberland State Resort. Lake Cumberland is located in South Central Kentucky and spans over several counties. With over 60,000 acres of water, it's perfect for any type of water recreation. This state resort boasts a number of amenities from pools to putt-putt, as well as numerous boat ramps and a restaurant. The pool was pretty nice. I mean, they've recently remodeled it, so it was pretty cool. There's not a crazy amount of parking. So keep that in mind. But it really wasn't that busy. There is more parking way over here though. Very close to the campsite, just right across from the little park. We needed a way to rate each campground we stayed at. So we came up with this system. It's the site size, levelness, overall quality of a campsite, the amenities, overall cleanliness, is it a fire pit, lantern pole, picnic table? How's the roads, parking condition? Can you park multiple vehicles? Is it family friendly? And does it have that special touch or something you just really liked about it? So we'll rate each place with marshmallows. Places can get half marshmallows or full ones. Let's see what this one turns out. Other than a few little things like the pole being tore down, Site 60 was great. I'd recommend it spot it was clean it's fairly level and it's a good size spot this is one of the few clear spots that you can see the lake from an actual campsite but this is like campsite 58 and i guess some idiots tried to like start a forest fire or something not really sure there's also quite a bit of trash back on this one, which is disappointing because it could be a pretty cool site, but very unlevel. Um, yeah, cool spot, but the, the crazy garbage and unlevelness of it kind of ruins it. Potential though. We're over at spot 60 and I think it's probably one of the best spots as far as being away from everybody. And it's fairly level. The road back here is kind of crazy though. Like it's a roundabout, but it's not. And then site 59, I guess it'd be okay. Got a little bit of shade. Site 61 next to us. Not much shade at all. But we got a good spot at 60. And we found a cool swimming spot. It's down past the cottages, past the resort. Follow the ones for number 30. And there's a cool spot down here. Pretty sweet spot, just off the beaten path. But it's shallow enough you can kind of walk out into it nicely. And if there were more people, there's a decent amount of space here. Pretty cool find. We're going to show you how we got to the beach going backwards. This is as we were leaving the beach. I had to re-record some of the audio. Um, still getting used to the new camera and it was a little shaky and there was, there was some wind noise. So just kind of enjoy the ride and uh, we'll show you along the way. There was quite a bit of garbage when we first got down there so we made sure to clean some of that up. 
There's a limited amount of parking down here, but parking nonetheless. So if you look at the map, we're going backwards from where the beach is at. There's a little trail there, so we'll just kind of show you the drive back from there. The park has 29 cottages that are available to rent, all of which are pet friendly, so you don't have to worry about boarding your fur babies. As you're going in, follow the signs that say 530. That will get you to the beach parking area. There's an abundance of wildlife through here. You'll see everything from deer to turkey. And if you're not into hiking or just simply not able to, it's a beautiful drive back through here just enjoying the nature that surrounds you and the beauty of the trees. There are still a few private residences down through this road, as well as some additional boat trailer parking. Not really sure where the ramp was down here. There's not one on the map, and I didn't see one, so it doesn't seem like a very convenient place to park, but it is there nonetheless. This next part of the drive, we will show you the campground, which has 75 sites, 11 utility hookups, and 64 primitive sites available, three service buildings supplying showers and restrooms, 
and primitive camping is year-round. Keep in mind the check-in building was moved just a little bit past the entrance to the campground at the perch. So make sure you go down there to get your tags and then we'll show you the rest of the campground right here. Campsters are all up top there as you can see and we skip campsites 105 through 112. They're all RV full hookups. Through here we have campsites 12 through 21. Um, they're all pretty average but flat, a little bit close together but not bad sites. Sorry for some of the camera shots, I was still getting used to my new action camera, so it could have been a little better, so I apologize. On the right you have campsites 81, 82, and 85. They're pretty legit, I mean if you're camping with a group and everybody's camping there, you've got a playground located super close to the showers and restrooms, nice spot. Loop C had one really good spot, and the rest of them are very unlevel. Um, so, yeah. And we camped in the last loop at site 60. Most of these sites were pretty nice. I uh, spoke a little bit more about the other one earlier. It's day three. Getting some breakfast made. Got camp, uh, you know, it's all home for now. Marshall's having fun. Joey, are you having fun? Oh, yeah. Marshall, are you having fun? <laughs> Two other things I wanted to mention. The pool did not have any steps or a ramp. Keep that in mind. And the showers were pretty basic. It was broken to male and female bathrooms. There were no... Um, like family showers or anything like that. But overall, I mean, it was a nice campground. And before we get to our ratings, don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. We appreciate that thumbs up. A few honorable mentions and things to check out in the area, Wolf Creek Dam and Fish Hatchery. And if you make it up to Jamestown, check out the restaurant Real Java. It was delicious. Whoa! <laughs> More? All right, you've made it to the end of the video. So what did we think about Lake Cumberland State Resort 
campground. We gave it a two for our campsite on the levelness, quality, there are plenty of amenities, everything you can ask for. Overall cleanliness, 1.5, the couple places could have been a little cleaner. Um, the site was fine. I didn't take any points away from the lantern pole being knocked over because they were up at every other site. Um, the road was okay in most places, but you could only park one vehicle. And also the turnabout was just kind of weird. It was family friendly for a 4th of July weekend. I mean, there was hardly anybody there. I gave it a half point for the special touch because the campground itself, there wasn't anything particularly special about it. But we found that really cool beach spot, so I gave it half a point for that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Where should we go next? Let me know in the comments.